What's going on comrades? Welcome back. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to um, change the, uh, the flight controls or in other words, how to get better maneuverability out of the uh, SU-30 module, codenamed Flanker. So, going to the cockpit, um, as you guys may notice that the uh, when you first fly it, you'll kind of notice that the plane, you know, the roll and the pitch kind of feel, uh, you know, it feels very, very dim or a sluggish. So um, to change this, um, before actually before I even explain that, just know guys that this is a uh, SFM. It's a simple flight model. Um, it's not uh, it's not an EFM yet. External flight model. Um, the external flight model will be more realistic feeling. Um, but uh, the simple flight model is just a standard one um, for those of you who are probably here in the early uh, uh, DCS days where you're flying FC3 in the planes they didn't really have their professional flight models only had simple flight models but um, but uh, yeah that's that's pretty much what we're working with so um, expect an EFM soon um, but yeah let's go ahead and get to it so one of the first things that you want to do is look over here to the um, to the to the left and you'll see a switch called TV uh, TV control maneuvering right here so you want to flip that and what you also want to do is on your stick you want to flip this okay so flip that up and right away you'll notice how uh, different the aircraft feels um, you will kind of notice that the uh, the pitch does feel sensitive <laughs> that's part of the uh, <coughs> SFM um, but it will be smoother with the uh, EFM um, you'll see that you'll get like way more pitch rate than the uh, than the standard mode let me get out of this real quick level the plane back out and um, there's another way that you can use this too say if you don't want to use the uh, thrust vectoring um, animations Speaking of that, let me go outside and just show you guys what it looks like. That's the uh, thrust vector in animation. Pretty, pretty cool looking. You can see it moving around there. Um, and to, let's go ahead and turn this off. By the way, in the SFM, um, I want to say you're not going to get thrust vectoring to a point where you can do like flips and um, you know uh, control flat spins and stuff like that um, probably in the EFM when they make that it'll probably be able to do all of that stuff but with the simple flight model it's not going to do it but it's just for now it's just really the animations uh, it's not the actual thrust vector that's uh, moving a plane like that um, if you don't want the thrust vectoring um, animations, and say you just want the flight control animations only, um, just turn that off. You'll see a switch that says escape off. Flip that. And then right away, you will notice, um, hang on one sec. There we go. Right away, you'll notice, um, how more maneuverable the plane is. So left, right, you know, the pitch. And if we go out the outside view, you'll see that the uh, thrust vector analysis don't move. Um, so it's just standard. That's if you don't want the uh, animations there. But um, that'll do it for this video. Um, I just wanted to show you guys how to uh, operate that in case you were, um, you know, if you didn't know how to and you're new to this module um, and uh, and yeah so I'll see you guys in the next video and happy flying comrades